a hard disk system has the following parameters. Number of tracks 500, number of sectors per track 100, number of bytes per sector 500, time taken by the head to move from one track to adjacent track 1 millisecond, rotation speed 600 rpm. So what is the average time taken for transferring 250 bytes from the disk? So we know that if we want to access any sector then the time that is required will be equal to the seek time plus the rotational latency and plus the time that will be required to transfer the data. Now the average seek time is not given over here so that we have to compute. What was the seek time? The time that is required by the head to move to a particular track. So if we have to compute the average seek time, we will have to compute that what is the time to move from track 0 to track 1, then time required from track 0 to move to track 2, track 0 to track 499 because there are total number of tracks are 500. So starting from 0, the outermost track would be track 499. So this is, we have to compute that from track 0, what are the times that are required to go to track 1, track 2 and so on till track 499. So we have been given that the time taken by the head to move from one track to adjacent track is 1 millisecond. So track 0 to track 1, it will be 1. Track 0 to track 2, it will be 2. And similarly, we will go on and the last would be track 0 to track 499, which is 499 milliseconds. This we have to add up and to compute the average, we will divide by the total number of tracks, which is 500. So this is an arithmetic series and if we add and divide by 500, we will get 249.5 milliseconds. Also we know that the rotational latency, if we have to compute the average rotational latency is the time that is required for one half the time for one rotation. So we have been given that the rotational speed is 600 rotations per minute. That means one rotation time is 1 upon 600 minutes. And if we convert this into milliseconds, we will get 100 milliseconds. So the average rotational latency will be half of this time, which becomes 50 milliseconds. Number of bytes that are in one track are, if we compute, there are 100 sectors in one track and each track is having, each sector is having 500 bytes. So 100 sectors and each sector having 500 bytes, this gives us total number of bytes in one track. So in one track, there are 5000 bytes and these can be transferred which in the time that is required for one rotation. So 50,000 bytes can be transferred in the time required for one rotation which is 100 millisecond because one rotation means that we are covering one whole track. So the time that will be required to transfer 250 bytes will be 100 into 250 divided by 50,000 which gives us 0 0.5 milliseconds. So the total time required is the seek time which is the average seek time which is 249.5. The average rotational latency which is 50 milliseconds and the data transfer time for 250 bytes which we have computed as 0 0.5 milliseconds. So this gives us a total of 300 milliseconds.